the lockout, how it's affected my business. It's it's been it's been terrible. Mostly, we probably are down about sixty percent. Um, I've heard stories that there is up to a dozen stores like mine across Canada that have closed their doors because of the strike. Um, same thing happened uh, last strike in ninety or oh five or oh four, whatever it was. Um, the, the players and the owners, they 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 care a lot about the game and everything, but they don't care at all about the residual effects of, of what it does on, on small businesses, on the hundreds of thousands of people that sell hot dogs and beer and parking, and, and those people's lives are affected dramatically. They lost their job. Uh, basically, we've noticed a big drop uh, working here the last year to this year. You can see that nobody just hangs out on the bar. There's when there's honestly not hockey to watch. People just don't sit down and watch anymore. Uh, drinks people would generally go for one or two pints. Now, before when there was the hockey game on, they'd hang out, maybe have three, four, five, and have fun. It's definitely hurt our business. You can definitely see it. Business certainly is down. Um, about 20 to 25 percent on game nights. We don't see the people coming in as much as they were. A lot of people are going to the Rockets games because, of course, they've got no other hockey to go and watch. I think it's a lot of mixed review. Some people are like, you know, you already lost this, it's taking too long. Some people are excited. Um, I think a majority of my staff are pretty big hockey fans. Um, that being said, no one was really missing it with uh, a good football season happening. So I think more so with uh, football coming to an end, um, it's definitely going to be uh, something that's appreciated. Just that you'll have some quality to watch on TV. You can't break a fan of the love of hockey, so uh, they're excited that it's back. And we'll see the jerseys back now, and our business hopefully will pick up a little bit. Slow season, we love the hockey. I think the fans are going to be bitter to begin with, for sure. You know, as Canadians, we're going to be thrilled to see, you know, good NHL hockey again. But I got to say, in the back of my mind, I, I got to say there's lots of people that were on the fence before and they're totally going to be, you know, fully against hockey now. Um, there's lots of dedicated fans that are going to begrudgingly, you know, accept hockey back into their lives. I think people are just kind of over it. I don't know that there's anyone who's really angry about it, but there's definitely some people that will hold a grudge for at least the rest of the season. We do see a lot of angry fans with the Kelowna Rockets being right next door. They'd uh, almost rather go see the junior hockey than professional hockey now anyways, but uh, um, some people always think it's a money grab and why we're not playing or this or that, but yeah, I've seen a lot more happy than angry. Now that the strike, the lockout is over, it's, it's going to be good for my business. It's going to be good for all the, the pubs and the hotels and downtown Vancouver and all of, like I said, the small people that have suffered so greatly because of this. But, but I have to say I'm still bitter about it and I'm, and I'm going to try to let go and, and, and we'll move on from there. It's nice to see our teams back. Just miss our fans coming in, watching the games, keeping us busy. We've been watching, waiting, dying to see it come back. With all the World Juniors, everyone was glued to the TV's end, so it should be good now that it's back. I'm glad to have hockey back. But again, I, I need some good result to come of all of this stuff. So, so and if that result is, is getting rid of Bettman, then I'm fine with it.